Am I live? Ok, I'm live, apparently. I don't know, I can't see. Bonjour, bonjour tout le monde. Bonjour, it's really good to see you. Uh, good to see you, uh, Johns Montgomery. And uh, hello to India, because it seems like I have a, a lot of people from India today. And it must be the right time for you. I don't know. I mean, we are trying all kinds of different times at the moment. So, bonjour, uh, bonjour à vous tous. Cameroon, I think there was. Uh, bonjour tout le monde. Uh, and uh, bonjour Nina. Bonjour, bonjour, Batty. Bonjour, so Mali. Bonjour, uh, Chris uh, from Australia. What time is it in Australia? Il est quelle heure en Australie? Um, bonjour, Letta Kidan. Uh, yeah, oh, thank you. Lovely. Merci. Uh, bonjour, uh, Ariba. Bonjour, uh, les Philippines. Bonjour, uh, tout le monde. Now, I can't say bonjour to all of you, uh, but I'm saying bonjour like that. I'm thinking of you. Uh, don't think I'm ignoring you. I am not. Now, We've had a lot of questions already pre-empting this, so I'm going to start with question number one, uh, which comes from Luyen. Now, Luyen was the first one, you know, an hour ago to ask me a question. And this question was, <coughs> what is the difference between en versus o when you use, it, you use it as a place? So I would like to show you now, and I should make myself small, uh, so I'm going to do that if my producer does that for me. Here we go. Now, en versus o uh, is the, what is the meaning of life? Seriously, was that the first question? Is that Adam's question, what is the meaning of life? I have no clue, to be honest. Now, what is the uh, difference between en and o when you use the verb aller? So, je vais, and then you could either say o, or you could either say en, okay? And this is Luyen's question. When do you use o plus the place or en, okay? And you may have come that uh, come across this before, okay? I have done a video on prepositions, you know, plus uh, je vais plus prepositions. So, now je vais means I go. We know that, okay? Hopefully a lot of you uh, know that. Uh, je vais uh, means I go. Now, o means to the, okay? To the. Okay, to the, and en means in, okay, but it means to as well, okay, that's what you need to know. Now, what you need to know is when to use, when to use, okay, uh, either one or the other, and how do you do that, okay? So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get a new piece of paper, and paper, <laughs> now, when you say to the, you can either say, a la, you can either say o, you can either say o, u x, okay, and you can either say en, but en is to or in, okay. So when you use a la, is referring to a place which is feminine, and I will come up with the next le uh, next question, which is when do you tell whether word is feminine or masculine? By the way, so to the okay, means a la, when you use a word which is feminine, such as, I'm going to go for piscine, a la piscine. Now, piscine means swimming pool. So, if you wanted to say, I go to the swimming pool, you would say, je vais à la piscine, okay, à la piscine. And we would use to the, quite, quite literally, okay, piscine, if the word is feminine, okay, so I'm going to write feminine here. Now, if you wanted to use a masculine word, you would say au, oh, je vais au, oh, okay, so je vais au restaurant, let's say, je vais au restaurant, okay, now, restaurant is masculine. Now, the reason why we do au, oh, and you're going to say, well, why don't we say à le restaurant, it's because in French it doesn't work, at all, okay? So what we do, we do what we call a contraction, okay, contraction, and we put à le together, and that means we say au. Don't ask me why au, au, because it doesn't look like à le at all, but that's the way we say to the for masculine. And then when you want to say, uh, when you want to refer to something masculine, uh, or I'm not sure, what can we say here? Can you help me, guys, in the office here? Je vais au... Um, I'm going to say supermarché, if you are going to more than one. 
And that marché, sorry, can you, ooh, can you, can you see that? Supermarché. Now, when you refer to something which is plural, that's when you use O, okay? To the, okay? It means to the still O. And that's because you cannot say A les. A les, okay? So you say to the, okay? O, A U X. But now, how do you say or when do you use en is the question, okay? Now that's the question that Luyen is asking. When do you use en? It's when you refer to a country, for example. Je vais en Italie, because that's where I want to go next year. Je vais en Italie, okay? Je vais en France. Je vais en Allemagne, etc. Allemagne. Ah, hopefully one day, guys, je vais en Inde. I'll go to India. I think I need to go to India. Don't you agree? Je vais en Inde. Okay. Now, je vais en Inde will refer, so you would have a country, okay, and you will have to use en because these countries are feminine. Okay. Now, note that we have some feminine countries and some masculine countries, believe it or not. So when you use a masculine country, you would have to say, and I'm sure you can do that, yeah, O, oh, okay. O oh is for uh, uh, masculine, okay. So for example, Portugal, Portugal is a masculine country, okay. Je vais O. Oh. Portugal. Now, what you have to notice is these countries are feminine, not because there is more girls living in these countries, it's because the word ends with an E. Can you see that? The word ends with an E. And in French, the rule is, and I know that it's one of the questions that we are going to have a look at in one minute, the rule is, is that if the word is or ends with an E, it is most likely, but three quarter of the time, likely to be feminine okay so it's all about that gender it's all about that ending of the words okay and portugal have a look at the bottom here je vais au portugal well it's masculine because it actually doesn't end with an e okay quite simply now the way you use en again and i'm going to finish with that because i know there's millions of questions okay now je vais uh I'm going to put en Italie again because I really want to go en avion. Okay. Now have a look at that. This means I go to Italy by plane. Okay. En avion. And you would do the same for je vais en Italie en bus. Okay. Je vais en Italie en bicyclette, en vélo. Okay, so to refer to how you get there, it will be en as well. Okay, now saying that avion, bus, vélo are uh, masculine words. Okay, so hopefully I'm answering your question, Luyen. Yeah, let me know if uh, it's all good here. Okay, and uh, now uh, let's have a look at another question. Um, Ronak. Rona Kamed says, it's difficult to memorize if the word is feminine or masculine, or is there any alternative? I mean, how long is a piece of string, Hamed? Uh, uh, sorry, Ronak. Um, do you know what the rule is that, and I'm going to do that here. If the word ends with a knee, okay, it is very likely, very likely that the word is feminine, okay? If the word uh, doesn't end with an E, so it would be a O or a U or a whatever, a, a or AL. Or, it is very likely that the word will be, how do you do the masculine sound like that? Sign like that? Yeah? Okay, it is masculine, but there is exceptions, okay? And by the way, the uh, words Sion would probably be feminine too, okay? So Sion, E, would be feminine, okay, feminine, and O, U, or AL, or all the rest would be masculine. But it, do you know what, it doesn't work like that. It, I'm going to show you something and I'd like you to do the game with me here. I'm going to show you words. Okay, have a look at these words here. Now the words here 
are really random, but I'm going to circle them either blue for masculine or pink. Oh, do I have pink? Yes, I have pink. Cool. Pink for feminine. Okay. And this will give you an idea of uh, endings as well. And is there a pattern? Okay. Is there... Oh, hello, Amine. I like my channel too. Thank you. Now, uh, have a look at the words, okay? And I will tell you what they are, okay? Uh, for example, we are going to start with ordinateur on the top here. So I'm going to show you with a yellow here, ordinateur. Can you see ordinateur? And that means computer. Is it feminine or masculine? Try to think, is it feminine or masculine? Look at the ending. What is it most likely to be? It is male, you're right. Uh, colonial house and oh yes you're fast you're fast yes it is male well done ordinateur computer is definitely so i'm going to circle it blue like that ordinateur is masculine now let's have a look at and let's have a look at i get my uh, yellow one here let's have a look at sapin now sapin is a tree it's a christmas tree is it masculine or féminin is it masculine or feminine? And I bet you, yes, well done, you. It is uh, masculine, le sapin, le sapin. Now let's have a look at another one here. We are going to have a look at forêt. I won't have a look at all of them because it's, uh, it's a long process that, but forêt. Uh, bonjour. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, what about forêt? Masculine or feminine? Now, this one is funny because it is la forêt. It's a girl. Forest is a girl. We've got a girl. Ah, it's a girl. So that shows you here that actually uh, not the rules doesn't follow necessarily. Okay. What I would suggest that you do here, you, you have a rule. You have that the E most likely are feminine. I'm, and I'm going to circle them for you. Have a look at banane. Banane, c'est féminin. Okay, banane, c'est féminin. Have a look at orange. Orange, it's an orange. C'est féminin aussi. Have a look at poubelle. Poubelle, poubelle, c'est féminin as well. And that means a dustbin, by the way. Dustbin. And Mohamed Aoun is right. Livre, however, and well done you. Livre, however, is definitely masculine. So, is there a pattern here? Hmm, I don't know. Livre is the book. It's masculine, okay, but yet it ends with a E. So that proves that the rule of uh, ending in E, you know, the word ending in E, doesn't work all the time. Like I said to you, if it ends with E, it's 75% of the time, three quarters of the time. It doesn't work all the time. Let's have a look at another one here. I'm going to say micro, and that's a microphone, is masculine. Can you say that? Bonjour, Darian. Uh, nation is feminine. Well done, Elida. Now, nation is feminine. Let get, and, and all the words usually with sion. So, nation, organisation, and even television, they are feminine. Okay? They are feminine okay and uh, most of the time they are so if it ends with sion it's most likely to be uh, feminine another one here we have gomme and that means a rubber okay you rub your uh, pencil with okay gomme montre it's a watch and that's feminine and we've got lamp lamp is a lamp and that's feminine okay uh, plage is the playa vamos a la playa uh, I can't speak Spanish, sorry. Uh, plage is uh, uh, the beach, okay, and that's feminine. And what else do we have? This is feminine here. We've got uh, Morocco. Bonjour, Morocco, and bonjour, Egypt. Oh, you look, what? To UN? You look so old. I'm upset. I am. <laughs> You look so old. Well, sorry, do you know? Uh, I, I could be your grandmother probably. So, yes, I am old. Now, uh, mer, which is the sea, the sea is uh, feminine. And then we've got another one here, which is feminine. It's souris, and that's a mouse. And that's feminine uh, too. But the rest of them, okay, are uh, 
masculine. Écran, stylo, journal. So we've got the screen, the pen, and the newspaper. And here we've got miroir, which is a mirror, is a fem uh, sorry, masculine. And jupe, we forgot jupe actually. Okay, here's the question. Jupe, masculin or féminin? Can you tell me? Mas oh, thank you. Not you're not old. Oh, bless. Thank you so much for defending me, Niziadzi. Okay, so uh, jupe. Jupe is female. Yes, well done. Well done, you, uh, Ealing Chin and Banco and Elida. Bravo. Well done. I can see that a lot of you are following. I'm really chuffed. Jupe is skirt, absolutely, and jupe is skirt. So hopefully this little exercise is helping you, you know, grasp actually uh, feminine, masculine words. And please, please, when you learn a new word, when you learn a new word, put a color next to it. Even it, either you do it in your head and you say, ordinateur is blue, okay, ordinateur is blue, okay, or jupe is pink, jupe is pink, okay, or you actually write it down and put a colon or you do two columns do it the way you want okay do it the way you want okay so uh, do we have another question we do we do uh we've done that and um we've got a question uh, someone asked me and very quickly because i don't want to spend too much time on that but uh someone said to me but how can you tell when uh, uh oh that's a better green it's more flashy I like that green okay so sometimes you will see a like that okay and someone said but how do i know when i do a dictation when i have an exercise how do i know if um uh if actually the the sound you know which accent to go to now they are they are sound okay related so this one would be a this one would be a okay and this one is a as well okay and you will have this so i would put this guys in the same category of sound okay uh, in a air sound and this little one here well i've typed twice the same one uh, see that's how old i am i forget things yeah thanks now uh so i've got this one uh so i would say that there are two categories of sound here. We've got A such as BB. BB, can you see that? A such as BB. And here we've got A such as frère, brother, frère. So BB is BB. And you will see it as well in forêt, which sounds like frère. And you will see it as well in Noël, which is Christmas. Noël. Can't see. Oh, you can't see it. Wait. Noël. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I have done a video on that okay i've done so check it out video about the sound a uh, somewhere in my playlist maybe uh, adam one of you can do something about it and show them the playlist i don't know now do we have another question um, um now we've done the thing why do sometimes french sentences sentences use double subject this is dharma asking a question use double subject in inversion questions oh that's a hard one well, I need a degree for that, but I don't have one, so I can't answer this one. Well, I'm going to try anyway. So, les médecins, les médecins, okay, that means the doctors, sont-ils, sont-ils dans l'hôpital? Dans l'hôpital. So, this is uh, the question that uh, Dharma has, um, you know, she's wondering, she's wondering why we have a double il here. So we've got les médecins, which is there, okay? And here it is again, il. So it's like saying in English, do the doctors, are they in the hospital? So she's asking, but why? Why do we have a double uh, subject here? Well, the reason being is that uh, if you were, and even in English, are the doctors in hospital that's what you want to say are the doctors in hospital okay now the reason why i think we've got a double uh, thing here is because you cannot say sont les docteurs dans l'hôpital like you do in english so the most likely that we are going to say is est-ce que est-ce que can you see here i'm not sure 
Ou am I writing too big? Est-ce que les médecins, les médecins, ok, sont-ils, est-ce que les médecins sont, sorry, dans l'hôpital? L'hôpital, ok. It seems like, Dharma, this uh, situation happens only when we use the verb to be and there is no integrative pronouns with that, ok? So, I would say that if you were to say, uh, is he, for example, um, is Tom gone? Ok, we want to say is Tom gone? You could do it several ways. You could say, est-ce que Tom est Party. Okay, here we go. But you could have the double subject as well. Tom est-il parti? Tom est-il parti? See, Tom is here, but Tom is here too. Can you see? And I think, I think uh, that is because we are using the verb to be. It wouldn't work in any other verbs, okay? And uh, it's probably a sound uh, connected uh, way and that's why we are doing it. I'm not sure I'm answering that question properly, but it's a really good question and I will look into it. Yeah, I will definitely look into it. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, another question we have, um, I'm looking for books, if any, because here in Tanzania uh, is somehow difficult to follow everything in YouTube. I know, I know that it is actually. Um, now, uh, books, we don't produce books at Learn French with Alexa, but we do have an awesome, awesome website called learnfrenchwithalexa.com. In this website, and I'm plugging in my own business here, uh, we uh, have a course which has hundreds of hours, hundreds of hours of, uh, of video and audio lessons all coming, uh, they all come with support guides. So if you put all the support guides together, that will make a book. Okay, but I know that if you do not have YouTube or not access to, uh, to uh, the support guide, that would be difficult, but they are all downloadable. All the support guides are downloadable. So if you download them all you, and print them out, you will have a nice little book as well. Okay, so, but uh, that's a very good thing. Maybe I should have a, a book. I think I'm, 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 I'm famous enough now to produce my own book, just like all these famous YouTubers. <laughs> um, okay, so next, uh, do more exercise, please. Yes, uh, live hangout for members, new exercise every week. Okay, Farah, Allah, Allah. Uh, it's a good idea. Uh, Adam and I were talking, and, and Yana as well, we were talking about it in the office on Monday and about how we could help you more. And I feel that having maybe exercises, you know, on a weekly basis, as in today we are going to transform a conjugation, you know, a tense in three different tenses, for example, exercises like that we uh, uh, would be good. Uh, but you have to understand that uh, I have uh, another service, the live hangout, where members pay and we do just that. We do exercise every week. So I know that maybe some of you cannot afford it and that's why that I would like to, uh, you know, try to reach out uh, as many people as possible without you paying uh, with some exercise. But a lot of exercises are already given uh, to my members, okay? But it's a very good idea, um, Faraj. A uh, very, very good idea. Now, Ayush Sharma says, I started learning French just day before yesterday. I want to ask how to keep French R sexy and smooth and not rough. How do you... <laughs> I like this question. R. Ah. Okay, now, let's do a little exercise. All of you out there, I'm not sure how many people are watching, but here we are. Can you say this word? Oh. Sorry, it's a you here, okay? So you, can you say this word and sound sexy like a French person? Now, the word is ratatouille. Can you say that? Ratatouille. 
Okay, now when you want to do the R, uh, it's quite simply, or oh, by the way, there is a, a video that is working really well on YouTube whereby I explain that when you want to pronounce the R properly, like a French person, you take a pen and you put it in a record in one or like that, and you say R, like that, R. So try that. If you have a pen, okay, you put it in the back of your mouth and you say R. R, R, hey, and that's the way the French R should sound like. Should sound like, yeah. So do it again. Do it again. R, R. Okay, that's good. So now, now with uh, practice, can you read this word? Can you read this word? Okay. Now here we go. Reparera. Reparera. Can you see that? Reparera. So the, the whole thing here, uh, Ayush Sharma, is uh, to make it sound a bit sexy but not too harsh. Okay, so reparera. Like reparera. Okay, and uh, like here's another one. Rouge. Rouge. Okay, you like it, John's Montgomery. What do you like my uh, exercise with the pen? Yeah, I think I think. Okay, so uh, but it still can't do it. Okay, so question number eight. Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, are you Shama? Question number eight. Which is the easiest way to master pronunciation? I can write with correct spellings, but can't get the accent. And uh, Suna Roberts, uh, Robert, the fact that uh, you can write uh, uh, the correct with the correct spelling is is well done. You you know it's it's not everybody that that can. And I think the best way for you to get the pronunciation right is to actually talk to a French person and converse. Okay, you will not get it right unless you are, and you could listen to the French radio and try to repeat what they say, but the chance is that you won't be able to repeat what they say to what they say because it's too fast. So uh, try to speak, I know it sounds crazy because you might not have a French person next to you, like Handy, you come, you're French, come and practice with me. But it would be good to either online, there are many services online where you can get a French tutor, uh, that uh, would be good for you to practice because especially if your spelling is good then you know uh, by the way I have in my playlist hundreds of and I think lots of them of tongue twisters uh, pronunciation videos a lot of that have a night guys Adam yes yeah. Yeah, see, he says yes. We've got a lot of videos of pronunciation that you can have a look and they are in the playlist on the pronunciations are they? I'm just asking uh, my uh, producer here is uh, is nodding. He says yes. Okay. So, uh, Puna Shara Incense, can you tell us tongue twisters? Ah, we're talking about that. You know, yes. Les chaussettes de l'archiduchesse sont-elles sèches, archi sèches? Now, repeat after me. Les chaussettes. Uh, sorry. Here we go. Les Chaussette. Okay, that means the socks. De l'archiduchesse. The archduchess? Archiduchess? Sont-elles? Oh, look! Who was it? Dharma? That's a double uh, again. That's a, uh, that's a question with a double uh, subject. Les chaussettes sont-elles? Les chaussettes de l'architicelle sont-elles sèches? archi sèches. Okay. So, are the socks of the archiduchess dry, really dry? <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Okay. Uh, right, can you repeat after me now? Les chaussettes de l'archiduchesse sont-elles sèches? Archi sèches. I can't say it. Now try to say it a bit, bit faster. Uh, les chaussettes de l'archiduchesse sont-elles sèches? Archi sèches. Okay, I've got uh, someone telling me that I need to stop. 
What, stop the tongue twisters or stop the video? Yeah, that's, that's the last question. That's the last question. No. No. Why? Oh, why? That's the last question. Um, can you make me big, please? And here she is, big and old. I will remember you. And I will go back to the thing. And as I will remember you. Uh, please say my name. Tipan Wita. Tipan Wita. It's pronounced Deepan Niwita. I've said your name there. Okay. Uh, can speaking French. Okay, I'm not reading any more questions. I want to read more questions. I want to. I'm crying. No, Turan and Guyen. Did, uh, are you the one who said I was old? But I. Don't worry. I have no um, grudge against you at all. Because I am. Now that's it for me. I'm going to see you next week and we'll think about doing a little exercise with you. But if you have any more questions, put them in now. You know, I will have a look at it. And if you want to ask a question, when I am c coming on an hour before, 30 minutes before, ask me the questions because the chance is that I will try to answer it first. Okay. And that's it for me. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bisous, bisous. Salut.